Hello, strong people. Week eight, day three of prep for Northeast Regionals Battle at the Bridge. What this video actually is, is just me going through what I'm taking with me in my gym bag with the trip. Competition, not really a trip. It's an hour away. So, sorry if I look a little bit wonky. I just woke up from a nap. <clears throat> Clocked out of work and went and laid down for a little bit just to hopefully get a little bit more sleep. Because sometimes you don't get too great to sleep the night before a show. It's like Christmas morning. You're all amped up and excited. kind of hard to sleep sometimes. But nonetheless, it was a pretty good nap, by the way. So what I'm going to do is go through what I'm taking with me. I'm going to go event by event, if I remember the order of events right. So let's just, let's just you know, try. All right. So max deadlift is first. Over here, we got two sets of straps. I will be using the figure eights, but I'm bringing these just as a backup, you know. Never hurts. Um, and while I deadlift, I wear deadlift slippers, my suit, of course. Can't forget that. And then my hard belt. There's really no reason to wear a soft belt uh, on, on a suit, I guess. I mean, the suit, it kind of is a really giant soft belt in a way. Um, no sleeves, nothing like that. And I'll then we have chalk here. I'll use a course. Um, if you can't tell, I favor a specific brand. Go buy some of that. And then there's a little bit of baby powder there too. So uh, that's just to help the bar slot up the legs. Event two is the press. Um, so for that, we're going to be using knee sleeves. I'll start at the bottom. So I'll use my flats. I'll use knee sleeves. I will use soft belt, hard belt, right here. Um, let's see, wrist wraps, and then my elbow sleeves over there. I think that's everything. And then of course chalk and all that fun stuff. And then something I like to do is I have a little Cerberus uh, spray tag here. It's uh, I find it doesn't work that well on stones, unfortunately, but um, it does work really well for keeping my uh, keeping my knee sleeves up in position. And then, uh, let's see, event three. What is event three? I think it's yoke frame. So if it's yoke frame, I have my little, um, I think these are Reebok Nanos or something like that. I don't know. Whatever these are, I'll be wearing. I wear my knee sleeves. I wear my soft belt under my hard belt. And then plenty of chalk, of course. And that's all there is for that one. Event four, we have sandbag to shoulder. And a lot of these are going to be pretty similar. So... Going back to the flats, you got some knee sleeves for sure. Going to have soft belt, hard belt, which is new to me. I didn't use this before um, when doing sandbag to shoulder. So that's new for me, and I really liked it in prep, so I'm going to stick with it. And then um, event five, I may keep knee sleeves on for this. I don't know for sure. Um, but either way, we got flats. It's sandbag, um, you know, for max height. Sorry, not max height, max weight over 15 feet. So we got flats, um, possibly this, my knee sleeves, and that's really it though. Maybe some chalk if I need it, but. And then we have bands here to warm up, of course, the usual. And I think that's just about it. It's not too, no tacky, nothing like that. This will be the first show I've ever worn a deadlift suit for. Um, I've had shows where I was able to use them before, I believe, like USS shows, I think. Um, but this is my first time actually using it. So, and I was messing with it earlier. I was just kind of, um, the strings on, because this is adjustable on the outside like this, it has really long, imagine like a shoestring, you know, on your shoe and it's just crazy long and you have to like tie it up. And that's pretty much what I was doing there, tightening those up. That way they're not dangling all over the place. I might grab another band or two, maybe. We'll see. Looking around, see if I've missed anything. And then, of course, I'm going to have my snacks. Um, Sour Patch. Yeah, Sour Patch Kids are usually my go-to. I like Swedish Fish, or I've done Skittles. Um, what else? I won't need any duct tape or anything like that. I might even bring another pair, uh, spare set of figure eights just to have, because... It's what I've been using, so it's what I want to continue to use in case mine happen to fail. Because you never know. It's always a possibility. Um, 
trying to think. Take some Gatorades. I need to prioritize drinking water this time around, though. Because it's going to be hot, I think. I haven't looked at the weather, but the show's indoors, but it still gets it gets warm in there. And then with the bag toss being outside, it's the final event, so I want to be... The hardest part about tr um, a full-day show like this is staying hydrated and staying fed. Just giving You need to be, you know, you need to have a consistent energy stream coming in almost because you're... Even though you're not actually lifting a whole lot at these shows, it's still exhausting. So you want to keep, you want to snack on something in between shows, quick carbs. Not in between shows, in between events. So you want to have, you know, those quick carbs, the sugary, high, you know, whatever. You're keeping you fueled up. And you don't want to hammer caffeine either. Um, this isn't, you know, that's not for everybody. Some people can hammer caffeine all day long and be fine. But um, if you hammer too much caffeine and you could crash at the end, uh, you know, after event two, event three, whatever, and no, you don't want to crash on caffeine during a show. So I'll have some extra caffeine with me, like a caffeine pill maybe, or something that would uh, metabolize pretty fast, get in my system. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Oh. And then... uh of course, the goal, Arnold Invite, that's been up there since I got that over a year and a half ago. I'm trying to think, a year and a half ago, I think, at least. Because I've been here two years, probably a year and a half. All right, guys, the next time you see me, it will be post-show. And there's not much else to say right now because now my brain's starting to, starting to go and I'm starting to realize that I don't have all that long until game time tomorrow. So it's going to be a lot of visualization, a lot of eating, a lot of walking. I need to do some walking. Got to stay moving. Um, and then resting hydrating, all the usual stuff. I don't know if I said that already, but my mind's kind of going wild now. So this is where I sign off and I will see you guys after the show, hopefully with good news. So go out, get strong, stay strong, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.